Bitcoin miner Clean Spark raises $35 million in equipment backed debt from Trinity Capital. Equipment based financing is becoming an increasingly popular option for mining firms to fund their growth. Bitcoin miner CleanSpark has raised $35 million in equipment financing backed by 3,336 new S19J Pro Bitcoin miners from Trinity Capital. Trin, look at this. Fun. Okay. The Henderson, Nevada based sustainable miner will use the proceeds from the financing for growth capital. Quote, as we mentioned in our Q1 earnings call, debt capital is currently the lowest cost of capital available to the company, end quote, said Gary Vecciarelli, something like that, chief financial officer of CleanSpark in a statement, quote, we intend to continue our efforts of obtaining non-dilutive capital to finance our growth needs, he added. On CleanSpark's earnings call in February, the company said that it prefers to raise capital by issuing rig-backed debt and that the company is in active talks with lenders. Other options include monetizing some of the company's Bitcoin holdings via sales and or yield. The financing comes at a time when miners are looking to get creative with their financing as capital markets remain somewhat constrained after Bitcoin prices come, came down from their peak last year. Using specialized Bitcoin mining computers called ASICs as collateral for loans has become popular among miners to fund their growth plans. Quote, all the options available for the miners in terms of financing have fundamentally changed over the last year. End quote. Mas Nakachi, head of crypto finance firm's XBTO's mining operations, told Coindesk in a recent interview. Quote, I think miners are starting to get more comfortable with equipment-based financing. End quote. He added. Among other lending products, XBTO offers financing to miners through asset-backed loans, as well as using Bitcoin as collateral. Most recently, Australian Bitcoin miner Iris Energy said that it has secured $71 million in equipment financing from institutional Bitcoin broker NYDIG, with a 25-month term and 11% interest and backed by 19 thousand eight hundred bitmain s19 j pro miners meanwhile in march nydig also provided about 81.4 million dollars in s19 j pro backed loans to minor green ridge generation clean sparks loan has a three-year term and carries an annual interest rate of 9.9 percent the terms are similar to loan financing done by Trinity Capital last year, where it lent another crypto miner, HUT8, a $30 million equipment-backed loan with a three-year term and 9.5% interest. What is up with those interest rates? I feel like that's high. <laughs> Quote, we are excited to partner with the team at CleanSpark which is on a mission to mine Bitcoin responsibly using a mix of sustainable energy, including nuclear, hydroelectric, solar, and wind, said Ryan Little, managing director of equipment financing at Trinity Capital, in a statement. I think it's important to note that a lot of mining companies are doing this sort of like equipment-backed loans, as well as, of course, you can do a lot of DeFi-backed loans where you put up collateral in some sort of cryptocurrency. I think it's going to become more commonplace, especially as we see kind of the market just stick right here. Like we are at the lowest volatility of cryptocurrency ever in the history of cryptocurrency. Now, part of that has some crazy factors going on with it, right? Because we have this factor of the traditional super cycle going on where we would expect some crashes coming in and so on. But we also have this crazy you know, global recession threat that's happening. Essentially, that's the best term I can come up with it that is coming in and kind of keeping it in a spot where a lot higher than where you would really expect it to be. And so if you do have though the lowest volatility ever right now, then, you know, these companies are able to kind of essentially hedge their bets a little bit more comfortably. Kind of goes back to that institutional investing though too as well. So we're going to see more and more people, I think, hop in uh, as it were. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.